Hi folks, uh, well, I think of the chance of this, I, the other ones I, I seem to have lost. Uh, I stay with the, the marshes, the uh, Essex marshes, or whatever I want to call them. I've got a cat right between my legs here. Come on, Harry, mind out of the way. I think he's waiting to get his nose in my painting water. Right, okay, so I've, I've wet the paper, give it a, a half a minute or so to soak in a bit. Uh, we'll just get some yellow oak, uh, raw sienna. Just, just. This is the, uh, maybe the last of the lovely fucking for £200 paper. That's why I didn't buy it. It's very expensive. Right, let's, let's get that in there. Get a nice bit of dry brush in there. So this will all dry much lighter, so let's just, just go into there, dip the brush in the water, and we'll have a bit of, bit of uh, ultramarine. The picture looks a little bit dull at the moment because oh, it's a light up. I've just sort of... as we go down to the bottom. I'll put a bit of water in, the fractions, and we'll have just a little bit of cloud going over that. So. This guy, this is just ordinary ultra, ultramarine. I think it's uh, quite a bit of artist quality in it. We never know quite how that's going to dry out, but that's the joy of watercolour painting. Using watercolour washes. Oh, that's a little bit of that. Alright, okay, that'll do. We'll wait to see how that dries. Uh, Alright, I'm going to get my medium hake now, and I'm going to uh, just let that settle a minute. There's, there's my palette. I've got the uh, I've got some gambos. There's the cadmium uh, cadmium yellow pale. That there is the gambos which I've been using. It's a very bright colour. Uh, raw sienna, alizarin crimson. You see that alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber which I hardly use, Payne's grey which I do, and burnt sienna which I do. So my main colours are the yellow, the raw sienna, ultramarine. Paint's great and burnt sienna. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, with the light there, just as a just a good bit of tint, or occasionally, it's a very strong colour, but it dries. It dries. It dries very light. Anyway, now into that, we're going to paint our our background. So we'll have some uh, bit of paint's grey and a bit of bit of bit of blue. So we'll, Stronger than that. Right, okay. Just these trees as a background to the marsh. I did one this morning and I just, I, I just vanished. So maybe it stopped recording, I don't know why it would, but uh, so we can undulate the marsh a little bit. The blue will give a bit of um, aerial perspective. It's a dry light. Okay. Right. <coughs> I um, went to a funeral of uh, Fred Gillespie yesterday, very sad. Uh, very tearful. 
for those who don't know him, I've mentioned him a number of occasions, he's one of our great landscape watercolourists. Uh, he, he was a great fisherman too, and he um, would paint himself fishing. Uh, he was good at a lot of things, it was Fred, good, a great engineer, great sign writer, which is how what he's spent the last, or most of his working life doing. Um, well, that's wet. Oh, he could make, he, he made clocks, beautiful mantelpiece clocks, uh, wall clocks. He had uh, lathes and machinery in his shed, or he could shed his workshop. Uh, and had a, had a more so framing kit. Um, well, I'm sure you've seen them, they're cast iron and very solid and they, they'll cut four corners of your frame at a time. And he would do it for the various groups he was a, a member of. The boom that I've got my camera screwed onto was made by him. He was a very generous man. And about a hundred people turned up for the funeral, which is a lot. All right, let's get put a bit of, bit of yellow in there. Paint, the, the brush is just a bit too wet. All right, let's make paint spray. There we go. Yeah, we can mix a bit, bit of burnt sienna with that. Just add a bit of variety in the colour. Uh, it's a bit dry brush there. So now the paper's soaking up the water. You can see it's a bit more solid here. I love doing trees and marshes. It's, I'm not a portrait man. I don't paint cats and dogs, although I've got a lovely cat. What about that guy, that West Ham player, football, who, who, <laughs> drop kicked his lovely Bengal cat. I love Bengals. They're beautiful animals, little animals. We've got. We've always had cats, but he but he kicks them, and then then they chase it around the kitchen. How it ended up, I don't know, but. Uh, there's a big petition now against him. West Ham paid, I think, £20 million for him. And he, they, they played him in the team in the game last night, which was quite uh, a shock to many. I see some different shapes in here. Fred was a great cat lover. Have a look at his gallery, I'm sure that's still on Google and you'll see what I mean by just what a wonderful painter he was for, for what he did. I mean, he's, you can't compare him to Venice painters or whatever. He had his uh, love of watercolour, um, landscapes, and he was really good at it. Uh, need some more that yellow in there. Let's try to make them a little bit different. Put in some yellow in there. Something like that. So I'll just squeeze it out of the tube. Oh, well, that yellow is, is lovely. It's just like using oil paint. And it lightens up. No white. 
that's just a little bit bit wet there I'll go back over that right uh, let's have that a bit of a brush coming down here the dry brush now that some bushes I sort of left some bigger gaps in the trees really but I got carried away talking about my old friend Fred the second friend has died in the last year Okay, and we'll start putting in some uh, some grasses or some marsh grass. Now we've got a nice bit of blue up the top there, so we're going to oh, let's just clean the brush. Old Harry is down there. He's waiting for his go at the water, but I'm going to cover it up. Although there's nothing. Toxic in the watercolour. So a little bit of a pond going across there. And then we'll start texturing. Uh, right, um, here's my, oh, here's my Jackson Hank for this texturing because it's got that lovely serration on the edge. Uh, so, a bit of a lovely green. That's the gambos with just a touch of Payne's Grey. And we can just a bit of a texturing on top of it. On light by that tree, that, that clump of trees. Uh, so that run into the, uh, into the wet. to um, dry this because I'd only have to edit it and I'm not quite confident enough that I've actually got the picture on the memory card the one I did earlier uh, it sort of vanished I don't know where it's gone anyway I've formatted the card now so it doesn't really matter but right, we'll put some uh, heavy green in here to sort of go down as a reflection. Oh, it's it. Because it's, the blue is wet, it, it'll drag that to reflection down into that blue these are always good exercises to, for trees I can notice you can start lifting out with your finger lift it a bit long here we use a card I think uh, here we go
Plus that little bit of a bit of detail creates an illusion of of light and trunks and branches. I don't have to overdo it like I am. Well, right, we've got a nice bit of sun shining on that, but I'm going to put some more sun in there. Let's just go back and go over, over that reflection again. That will just go down. Okay, that looks so great. I've got a bit of texture in here. Take that off so we can paint down to the corner because if I put it in my mouth, it's just a bit too big for the 15 by 11 inch paper here. You could do this with uh, just one or two colours, just the, the greens as a practice. Now I'll justify that with a bit of a I've got about a thousand uh, bristles there. And then we'll uh, do a bit of texture over here. making things up as I go along and they stand or fall but this is a sort of a marsh scene okay now look we've lost it there so we'll, we'll put in a bit more of that uh, that yellow Clean the brush. Okay. Give it that bit of light. Can you see that? That's a bit of uh, pain there. It's worked there quite nicely. It's a beautiful yellow. Alright. A uh, bit in there. It's not mixed media, it's pure watercolour. Uh, it's a little bit of the uh, these grey texture in here. Uh, now that will, will soak in. Let's see if we can lift out some of this now. It's 
Once, once, when it dries, and if you go over it again, it will be scratchable. But you can overdo the scratching. Uh, dry my brush. Uh, right, uh, that sort of. Uh, Got a bit of right there. Uh, it needs some dark. But I'm just going to use a bit of this for texture. Oh no, it's still a bit wet. But we can do that. Oh, I think we should should push our luck here. Okay, let's put a few birds in uh, and some squiggles. Where's my little squiggle brush? Uh, there it is. Frank Clark's, one of Frank Clark's brushes. I haven't heard from Frank for quite a time. I hope he's all right. He wasn't. More paint's grey. That doesn't look right, does it? So we'll get a little, a little hike and, and just lift out a little bit of that, I think. Uh, right, I'm going to put some birds in. I'm not going to do any more stuff than that. I'd like to, but I don't want to try the thing and then have to do two paintings. Uh, the lovely, the lovely birds. I think I need to just put a little bit to justify that bit there. Uh, get the, uh, Got a bit of mildew, is it? Oh. There. There. Because I've left it in water overnight, accidentally, and uh, Put it in, in the mount, so I'll just clean that brush. Not to the rug. Uh, dry my fingers. Bit of tape to hold it on the board. I'm sliding down. Turn it off. Well, I'll put the big mount on this because I've gone to the corners so. Well, we we'll try it with two mouths and see what you think is best. There's a small one. The sun shining in there, through here, through here. Or uh, this one. They just it just about fits. So there we are. So we're going uphill a little bit there, but that's okay. I did that. Let's uh, just pull you out. There we go. Now to find the final download and find out where it's gone. Uh, I'm still not on top of it. I think OneDrive has stopped working. I'm not sure about that. Uh, probably because it's full up and they want money. And it might be going to some sort of Windows movie, movie Maker or something. It'll still upload when you find it. Uh, 
Well, I have to speak to my friend uh, John, aka Smoothie Seventy Seven. He's a brilliant, brilliant, so brilliant with a pencil, and then filling him with watercolours. It's a very, very, very good, good advanced painter, really. Got a great drawing skill. I've never really done a lot of drawing. I draw with a brush. Uh, right, okay. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.